crossed over paint and I want to do a flip cup drag on this canvas. So here we go. I'm going to turn it over. This is a 10 by 16 uh, little canvas. So here we go. Uh, flip cup drag. I should just put it all the way over here. Put some white around it. Make it look all pretty with all the white all around it. Yeah. Take my hair off of here. Because I always find my hair on stuff. It's not good. Let's see. Put these paints here. All right. Here we go, guys. And the world's getting better by the day. Today, oh, slowly, we are getting better by the day. Yes, slowly. Now that is what I call sensual, beautiful. I love it. So beautiful. Gorgeous colors. Look at that. We got a lot of nice, beautiful cells in there. Now that's how you do a flip cup drag pour, which is one of the pours I love the most, besides the uh, three ring pour. I, I do love this pour a lot. I'm sure people can tell you I like it a lot. Because uh, when I first started doing acrylic pours, this is the one I did most often, yeah. I'm just trying to tweak some areas that look like miss some paint. Yeah. So let's just put it in there. Oh, I lost a lot of paint here. All that I could have used in here. What's wrong with you guys? Ah. Mm. I don't want it to be like a that you could see the canvas. No, that's not what I want. Okay, that looks so pretty. I like the white. So this was the leftover of the paint I just did a few minutes ago, so you guys will know. Yeah. Leftover paint is always good. It's always good to reuse it, the paint. Yeah. Okay, well, that is it. I'm happy with this. Turned out so pretty. Yeah, I'm going to give you a close-up, guys, and then I'm going to let you go. And on um, the rest of this canvas, I'm just going to put some white just to finish off the sides here. Mm -hmm. That's what I should have done first, right? Do all the white first all around. But uh, it's okay. You can always do it after. Because it is a board. It's not really a canvas canvas. It's a board. So it's a hard wood board. Mm -hmm. And I love these colors. They are fabulous. Fabulous, beautiful colors together. Yeah.
I want this little tail come up. Just leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone because otherwise I'm going to keep doing this and end up messing up the paint. So better to just let it dry. And then you could put your last layer of the uh, white on the outside again once it's dry. And then you could either you could either varnish this or you could um resin it it's a nice short canvas maybe i'll resin it because i really do love the colors i got on this one so let me give you guys a close-up oh, that's it for today yeah not sure when i'll come in again i got This blue is so gorgeous. It's a very, very beautiful blue. Mm -hmm. I like the way it gets kind of white down here. More in the white family. But I like all that break up there. So pretty. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it, guys. Love you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week. Bye.